in this video we are going to solve day 8 wasp top 10 challenge it's insecure dc realization so in first tax 22 there is bunch of theory okay go through it okay first question is who developed uh, tomcat application let's search for google Okay. Um, it's probably this Apache Software Foundation. What type of attack that crash service can be performed with insecure deserialization? Here yeah, we can just get the sensor from theory given here also. It's Denial of service. Okay, next tax of day eight is this objects tax twenty three. So it so it tells you the difference about state and behavior in object oriented programming go through it the first question is select the correct term from the following statement if a dog was sleeping would this be it's a behavior because that's the character of a dog if if the dog was a different type uh, let's say two different breed then it will be a state but it is a behavior of a dog so it will come this question this question will come handy in understanding insecure deserialization let's go to next tax 24 so there is also a bunch of theory so the question is what is the name of base to formatting the data is sent across the network as you can see in picture also the ones of binary data so it's binary next in next tax it's about cookies so there's bunch of theory on cookies read them it's important topic the cookies part is important okay if a cookie had the path of w ebapp.com slash login what would be the url the user has to visit so if it's the path then the url should be same so let's copy it what is the acronym for the web technology that secure cookies work over so for secure cookies it's https so they use ssl and tsl encryption okay, let's go to next task Tax 26 so cookies practical okay, let's visit the site first flag cookie value okay, to find cookie value just right click and inspect element then go to storage okay let's make a username and password okay we have signed it here so it probably generated a cookie Right, session ID is the cookie. Let's copy it. It is deco decoded format. So it is in encoded format. Let's decode it. 
it's probably base 64 is the most common format used in web so to decode that let's echo the cookie value okay then pipe it through base 64 and give a flag dash t for decoding okay here is our flag it's the same middle of a long text encoded flag and here it start from tsm and then it called the bracket this is our first flag the second flag is admin is in admin dashboard so we are going to modify the cookie okay in here username user type okay we can easily know the value of the user type also is cookie is not encrypted it is not using secure channel so let's change the value to admin in this user type with us then let's go to admin it will no longer ask for username and password and we are successfully in admin dashboard so here is our flag also let's copy the flag we successfully knew how to now we successfully know how to manipulate cookies and to login into admin dashboard so let's go to next tax tax number 27 it's remote code execution so in the theory part uh, there are few steps given so what do we have to do okay let's first change the value of user type cookie from admin to user okay let's do that let's change it back to user let's go to my profile okay let's gen then generate a new cookie when you click this exchange your vim okay then we are going to generate new cookie named encoded payload okay, after that click on feedback in feedback section so we need to change this enco encoded payload to our own payload so to get a reversal in our machine the link to the payload is also given the payload is also given here copy and paste the source code from github page let's visit the page okay here is the python script file let's see what it does so we create a netcat command okay then we decode decode it to first of all we give the command the netcat and our ip and our port and then it decode into the same format as the, the cookie yeah okay let's modify that python file okay, let's copy our Python script from that GitHub page. Okay, then okay, let's make a new script. Okay, let's. let's change it to our ip so our ip is 10.8.84.156 we get it from ifconfig command ok 
I think it's correct. Let's save it. Let's run. Okay, we got the modified payload. Let's copy it and set up our net cat is now. Run. Okay, we set up our net cat list now. Let's paste that paste the payload in this encoded payload section. After that, just refresh the page. Let's check if you got the reversal or not. If we get the reversal or not, okay, we successfully get the reversal here. Get next tax is to get the flag.txt. Okay, let's find the flag.txt file. Okay, it's present in our home directory inside yes. user cm cm netic. Okay, here is the flag.txt. I'll show you the directory also. Okay, just open that flag.txt. Okay, this is our next flag. It's the correct flag. So we successfully completed day 8 challenge also. Next we are going to do a day 9 challenge.